Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe, and this is Bootstrapping Tools Community Support, where we go through the questions from our community from bootstrappers just like you and help them overcome the issues that they're facing. In today's video, we're gonna be helping out Hostway, who has recently had some trouble trying to connect Data Studio to his MySQL database, uh, and this is, uh, specifically to version eight of MySQL. Now, so that's basically what we're going to do in this, uh, this tutorial. I'm just going to walk through going to Data Studio and then connecting that to MySQL without using the uh, Google Cloud SQL connector. We're going to use the direct to MySQL connector. Uh, if you had trouble uh, with it, don't worry. It's not your fault. It was only recently that Data Studio, that Google Data Studio started to support uh, MySQL 8. So April 29th, just earlier this year, is when they added in support for it. So if you had issues before, don't worry about it, not your fault, it just wasn't supported, but now it is, uh, which now enables people like Hostway, myself, and everybody else out there to use Data Studio on top of their MySQL 8 database. So let's actually dive right into it. First thing you're gonna do is go over to Data Studio and then click on the Create button on the upper left and then select Data Source. From there, you're gonna see a bunch of connectors here. The connector that we're gonna use is a Google connector, but it is specifically the MySQL uh, connector. So just be careful, don't use the Cloud SQL for MySQL, use the regular direct uh, connection to MySQL connection, which is also not the same thing as the Postgres one, but the two slightly different, uh, use the MySQL one. So when you click on that, you're gonna see a very similar uh, or familiar form uh, that you're gonna have for the other database types. Uh, but over here, you're gonna want the public IP address. If you have the public IP address, you know that's great. Uh, if you don't know where to find it, I mean, it's basically, once you configure it, depending on whatever application or you know framework that you're using for it, uh, AWS or uh, or Google Cloud or something else or locally hosted, uh, you're, you're, you just need to find that public IP. Uh, so the public IP looks something like this. Uh, this is the one that I have for, for MySQL 8 database that I just set up. Uh, you don't have to worry about the port. Uh, you can leave that blank. If you really want to add one, you can just add a 3306. Uh, but in this case, we don't really need it, it's optional. Uh, and then the database, I created a test DB for it uh, and then created basic username and password. But that's basically it. The most important part is connecting via the public IP address. Now. Before we move further, there is one more thing to talk about. Uh, within Data Studio, if for whatever reason you are using a firewall, I know a lot of companies do like to keep uh, you know their data secure, so they might be using a firewall, just make sure that you are whitelisting all of these IP addresses. Uh, if, if you, uh, it really depends on which which application you're using. But if you're not sure, you know, maybe try to co connect with one of your engineers. If you are working at a company, if you're not uh, working at a company, you're doing this by yourself. You're bootstrapping yourself. Uh, take these and then go over to whatever is hosting uh, your your servers, and then you should be able to find it in the settings for like whitelisting IP addresses. Um, but essentially, just copy that in, and then for each one, add it in, and then you'll be able to use Data Studio without any issues. Uh, but this is primarily only if you have put your database behind the firewall or you have any type of restrictions for it. So uh, I've actually already done that uh, for, for myself. So when we hit the authenticate button, what's gonna happen is it's going to make a connection to our MySQL 8 database, and then it's going to retrieve all the tables that we have. So, well, that was pretty fast. Uh, so it's authenticated. I only have one table. Uh, for YouTube comments, uh, and I actually just created this as an example. Uh, so when we hit connect, it's gonna show us the fields and this very simple, I only have name and date uh, for that. And that's basically all there is to connecting uh, a MySQL database directly to Data Studio. So just to quickly re-show uh, re that, I'm gonna go over to create a new data source, and then you're gonna select the MySQL uh, connector, not the Postgres or the Cloud SQL MySQL, but the typical direct MySQL connection. So you select that, get your public IP and paste it in here, the database uh, that you want to connect to, and then your username and password um, if you've created one. Uh, but most importantly, um, public IP. And if you do have any issues connecting to it, it's probably because you have restrictions on your database and or, or it's behind a wall firewall. Uh, just make sure to whitelist all the IP addresses that Data Studio uses uh, on their end. 
But that's basically it for uh, this video. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out, uh, drop a comment in the section below. And uh, if you did like this video, please hit the like button so that other people like yourself, bootstrappers just like you can find this video as well. And we're always adding new videos, whether that's going to be about Data Studio and connecting uh, more data sources or creating dashboards in Data Studio or creating apps in Retool or App Sheets or whatever third party tool out there could help you bootstrap your business. That's what we're all about. So hit the subscribe button, hit that bell. Make sure you get notified when we release our next video. I'm a guy called Joe. It's been a pleasure. This is Bootstrapping Tools Community Support. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing from you. And we're out.